I've been wanting to make this video for a while now and uh, I had a subscriber putting a uh, speedy F on his car I don't know if he did it because of me or not but um, so he did it and he started his car and he was trying to time it and I told him it sucks for me because my battery is not here so it's kind of hard so he made a video uh, of him timing it and I'm gonna show you here so um, so his name is George George um, and his channel is Banner B A N B A N N E R super cool guy he made the videos just to show me that he was doing and you know we have a lot of back and forth like emails and stuff so check out his channel I don't know if he has much or not but he is definitely gonna put some content on his um, neon a uh, Dodge I think it's a Dodge something so he was showing me uh, if you get the gear here you have the gear and you have this uh, cut in the middle which is the dowel pin right and if you see up here where my finger is and you see that little cut uh, that little cut you painted white and you guys you can see right right here on the gear that my finger is so you paint that cut white when you have your timing light running uh, it's gonna shine and you're gonna match that right in the middle um, my case also is a little harder I don't know if you watch the videos but this is an aftermarket game gear from OBX and the marks are not correct the marks are on the opposite side so here where I made that mark is the mark where I have um, the line, the dowel pin. So my dowel pin is right here. And this line here is the line I made where is that uh, timing line, right? And same thing on the other one. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this white here and we're going to see if this white matches in the middle. I'm going to clean one of those uh, so it doesn't, doesn't bother us. And my other thing is don't do that at home, kids we're gonna get positive and negative from the back that's my battery right there and we're gonna plug our timing light right here which is gonna be easier one more thing if you are using uh, speedy EFI like me you need to uh, set this to zero uh, I've been running with zero anyways so let me show you here so you go to settings, trigger setting, and here you have the degrees. So um, we're going to put it here zero, and I'm going to burn, okay? And I'm going to leave this window open because we're going to measure, whatever I measure, I'm going to change the time in here and to compensate in there so after connecting this here the positive and negative let me change sides you get this thing in here you open and put in the number one and mine is going to be like this right so you put it in there plug on the positive and negative so I'm gonna get my timing light. I don't know why people say to not use those, but uh, that's what I have. Um, I'm gonna get here zero degrees. And as you see, if I press the button, I already have light, so it's working. Now I just need to start the car. So if you haven't started your car yet, do not start. Turn off the fuel um, relay, so you don't have fuel, you don't spark, get some a buddy. Uh, starting your car for you and then you trigger the light and you see how it is and then you keep adjusting on that angle trigger angle my car I know that zero works so I'm not worried about it I'm gonna test it as the car run I'm gonna see how many degrees is off and I'm gonna go to the computer and adjust more or less and then we're gonna go this way one more thing I forgot to say go to spark and spark settings and we're gonna fix 10 degrees right spark settings right here it's going to open this screen this window uh, and I want to set to 10 because if I go to my spark table right and I'm trying to see what is my my angle right my advance and it's going to start idling 
here so I might have 15 14 13 so that's gonna be kind of messy here on the 10 I actually know that's gonna be 10 and once I reach the 10 degrees I know that when I take my 10 all of the way it's gonna um, my my crank advanced angle is gonna be zero so um, yeah so let's uh, go back to our gun here and here I want to set on the back to 10 degrees so when I set to 10 degrees I know that the lines got to align right in there all right guys that's the deal here Fix stand and I'm gonna show you here you're gonna see it's almost there see that big mark on the left and on the right got a line I have here set to 10 right and why 10 because this is fixed 10 so that way I know it's running 10 my log says that it's 10 so I'm good to go and here I'm doing going forward or backwards to be sure that I have the right value so I changed to 346 now and we're gonna go back there and this is a back and forth yeah look at that it's a line all right so we try the other hand check it out wow look at this string Alright, so this is the first ride after I change the timing. I'm gonna see how it looks. How it sounds. Alright, it seems like the power is not there. Uh, but it's driving it smooth, so I guess we are going to tune a little more, but yeah, at least I'm happy I'm getting a The sound is great So I'm gonna wait for the The actual oil cooler sandwich without the thermostat to be here so we can uh, fix that This is what I end up with um we got here 347 of course um, this is if my timing is wrong or right I don't know so just summarizing settings trigger settings uh, get this guy here nope sorry spark um, spark settings right so we have two first you enable uh, lock the timing here you set to on and set this guy to 10 which means doesn't matter what is in your table it's going to be 10 all the time that way you can predict get the gun put the gun on 10 and the marks should align if the gun doesn't have that adjustment which people like more for some reason um, maybe it's more accurate then you're going to have 10 degrees but I don't know what 10 degrees is there so 10 aligning is better for me and the way it was aligning I was adding here it was getting far right and here I mean the trigger angle which is the inside trigger settings so this is spark settings the other one is trigger settings which is in here okay and so to me I was going backwards uh, 347 348 which means uh, I mean <laughs> it could be minus right but actually it doesn't uh, it has the same effect and this was actually aligning for me so this is great um, and this works for me I don't know what is your number but this is what you do to proceed if you're not here for the XPD EFI it won't quite matter this helps you on how to check your timing and if you have the OEM um, sprockets you gotta remember to paint this little line up here so usually you get a a tire mark like this and then you just paint right there so that's my mark right there of course you paint white is easier because the lights gonna shine in there but 
yeah so check out my seasons i have a bunch i have those videos which is kind of how to help you guys doing stuff i have a lot of a lot of you guys are reaching out uh, one of the guys was actually banner it's his his youtube channel is called banner his name is george um uh, and he actually encouraged me to do this because uh, he was asking me about speedy EFI, about putting the individual coils and all that stuff. And as I was helping him, he he was very sassy. He, he figured out his stuff. And I told him I can't time my thing because my battery is on the back and all that story. And anyway, so he made a small video of him timing and he painted the, the little mark in there. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So check out his channel. I hope he put more content there because he's a pretty cool guy, pretty cool dude, and he knows how to do things. So you know, why not help people too? Um, yeah. So check out my seasons. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button, and I'll catch you later. Look past my face. See status.